Hi friends, Miss Hazel here. And Miss Kate. How are you doing today? Um, we're gonna learn about an artist today. Her name is Sakari Douglas Camp, and she's a London-based artist. She studied at a bunch of different places. One of them was the California College of Arts and Crafts in Oakland, California, which is really close to us, which is very exciting. So she does a lot of metal work. She does a lot of art with a lot of different things. And I think a lot of found objects. When you look her up online, you can see she's got a whole series of things made with oil cans, old oil cans. So in the spirit of recycling, which Miss Kate and I love to do, um, we've got a project for you um, inspired by Sakari Douglas Camp. Yeah, okay. So here it is. I finished that. And um, I think it's kind of funny and cute. And I'm gonna show you how to make it with some things you probably have around your house. There's a good chance. Um, if not, you could use a regular. We're using um, a friend of ours who doesn't like to throw things away either. Um, her name is Joyce. Thanks, Joyce. She gave us a whole box of these cans. And so if you take the lid off, it's a little bit sharp in here, so, but you have to, so you have to be careful. Um, but I taped mine and then I just use a little, scissors and pull this off and that's how I got my can but you could use a soda pop can or something that's got a little bit of a bigger top on it because you need to to put your arms in you're going to need a little bit of space so so I've taped it so I don't get um poked and now I'm going to show you how I did it so the first thing I'm going to do is oh and this is a project that uses tape tin foil I'm using sheets of foil but you could use regular foil I need some scissors, I've got some ribbons, I've got some beads I'm gonna use, magazine papers, and a little piece of newspaper. So, um, you'll see, you'll get some ideas from this. So then I'm gonna take my can, and I'm gonna just tape it onto my, uh, my tin foil and tape it onto my can. Tin foil's kind of fun to work with. We like to do projects with that, I'm gonna just scrunch it around the bottom okay like that there you go that's the first step and when I was doing this this week trying to figure it out I realized it was really tippy so I found some glass beads you could use rocks you could use sand something heavy to weigh down your your project so it doesn't tip over so that's just something to weigh it down that's in there and then I also realized needed a little bit of filler in space so I took some newspaper and stuffed that inside there. I think one piece, another little piece is okay. This is not an exact science. This is a starting point for you. Okay, now this part we're going to make, um, I'll show you. There's like a ball that's holding the head on. That's the neck and shoulders and then inside is the arms. So I'm gonna show you how I made that. First thing you're gonna do, I think, let's make our arms first. I'm gonna have the shiny part out. I'm gonna take two pieces of foil. If you're using foil at your house, you could just take a bigger piece. And I'm just gonna roll it up best I can. We love to make sculptures out of foil, Miss Kate and I. Our friend Margaret made one this week that we really liked that she showed us. So now it's like my arms. Just kind of crunch it up a little bit. And then find the halfway point and fold it like rabbit ears. And then inside your can. And then bend it out for your arms. You can play around with it, but that gives you an idea. There's your arms. Okay. I think don't overthink it. Just kind of try to have some fun. Now, now I'm going to make the small ball that goes on the bottom. That's going to be the shoulder. So I'm just going to crumple it up. I think two is a good, you know, a small. You could probably maybe before you finish it, test it. Like that's going to work, right? Okay. So put that there. And now I want a little bit of a bigger piece for my head because I would look funny if I had a little tiny head like that. But maybe you want your statue to have a little tiny head and that's okay too, because it's, remember, it's your art and it's all perfectly good if you like it. Okay, all right, now I've got two, head 
and like shoulders neck. And I'm gonna kind of take another piece of foil. I'm gonna put the head in it, kind of wrap it around. And then I'm gonna put the shoulders in and wrap it around and try to make them where they meet. So that then there's like a, see that? So yeah. it can stay together. First I, I tried it. taping it and I couldn't get the tape to stick together. So I thought, well, what if I just use another piece of foil? And I put it in, well maybe take the whole thing out and put it in and you could have it, you know, kind of make it do whatever you like. It could be waving to you, it, you know, play around with it till you get where you like. Okay, so now you've got your basic sculpture. Um, on this one, I used a Dixie cup and I and I covered it with paper and that was a hat. You don't have to have a hat. You could have a ribbon. You could draw a face if you want. I just liked it without a face. Now the next part I thought was really fun and you could take as much time on this or little time. I took a long time because it was fun. So you're gonna find a magazine and find some colors that you like or you could just be random. Mine was a little bit random, but you see I found a lot of blue. So you're gonna cut your paper into triangles. And it doesn't have to be a perfect triangle. I wouldn't make your triangle super big, but you're gonna cut your paper into triangles. That's what I did, I already did that. And then you're gonna take your, I guess you're gonna find out, I feel like I, this is the front. I like the way the front is. And then you're gonna use little pieces of tape and put your, um, put your paper down and tape it. And then I, I cut all my paper in advance. And I, here's some orange, cause I think orange and purple look really nice together. But start at the bottom and just start making your dress. Oh, I think I wanna turn it, okay, like that your tape on and then I just did it all the way up I kept layering it Let's see I'm gonna do it so you can see so I'm doing it facing me you won't see and then when you get up here like that I found you could do funny things like you could find pictures of funny things you could use painted paper any kind of paper you could use tissue paper and then you see what I'm doing here you're just gonna layer it till you get your whole dress made so then I took at keeping with this style I did my papers all the way to the top um, yeah and then I got to be like decorating time so I found some really pretty yellow ribbon and um, you know what I might even do I might even give myself, I gave myself a bra or her a bracelet over here. You could, if you had some jewels that you wanted to decorate with, I could just do like that. You're just, you know, you're a sculptor. You're making your project. Okay, and then I tied a ribbon here. I cut out a flower for my hat. It's your art, you know, you're all creative people. Just think about what's around your house that you might want to put on your um, sculpture. So again, our artist that we're inspired by is Sokari Douglas Camp. And thank you so much for joining us. Hope you like this project. If you do, and you wanna see what we're up to, subscribe right below that little, that little button, click on it. And um, we hope to see you again soon. If you do any art that you wanna share with us, send it to Alameda Arts Fun on Instagram. We would really like that. Okay, take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye friends.